hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today we are gonna start the new session that is what we are gonna teach chinese language yes but at this time we are gonna make the videos and lectures from english to chinese as we have requests from some foreigners they want that the same lecture should be translated from Urdu to English as we made earlier our lectures from Urdu to Chinese language so they were unable to understand so they requested us to translate and to make the video lectures from English to Chinese so we are just we also want to help them out okay so we are making now our lecture from English to Chinese so today our subject our topic is subject and how to say subject in Chinese? Chu yi, chu yi. And you are learning Chinese language from Sir Rizwan Ramzan. And how to say Sir in, in Chinese? Lao shi, lao shi. Rizwan Ramzan lao shi. Okay. So today is our first class, and there is one quotation. Chi pu ke shi, shi pu zai lai. What does it mean? Don't miss opportunity. Time doesn't come again. Okay. Yes, guys. If you really come across with some great opportunities, so you are supposed to grab that and do not wait for the time that I'll do the next year, I'll do the next month. If you have got the opportunity, just grab that and do that. Okay. For example, that you have got this opportunity to learn the Chinese language from basic to intermediate and to advanced. So you have got this great opportunity. So do not miss it. Okay. You are supposed to learn with us and make your Chinese better and better day by day. Okay. So let's study. But before studying, uh, we request you guys that you are supposed to subscribe our channel. Okay and also let others know it may be possible that others also get the benefit from our platforms okay so let's start it yes uh, today we are going to study subject what is a subject a person or a thing who performs an action is called a subject okay and we also have studied this definition in the english grammar okay if we have not studied then no problem you can study right now the person a person or a thing who performs an action is called a subject and you will definitely give some examples so that it will be more clear for example english how to say english in chinese ing yi pinyin what is the opinion? Okay, opinion is what that a uh, system by which we understand the Chinese character is called the opinion. Okay, because if we are using the opinion, then it will be much, much, much easy to understand the Chinese, to learn the Chinese, and to understand the Chinese character. Okay, if we do not have the opinion, then I think that it will be quite difficult to learn this language because Chinese these characters. If any new beginners is gonna come, he will definitely say, okay, "What is this written?" He will not understand. But uh, when we are gonna look at look at it, the opinion, so we can understand uh, by the meaning, and we can understand that this is written tha. This is written Yong, this is written Shochi, okay? So opinion is a system by which we understand the Chinese character, okay? So now let's let's come here. English. He uses cell phone, okay? Who is using the cell phone? Who is performing an action? He. So he is the subject in this sentence. And we learn Chinese language. Okay. Who is learning the Chinese language? Who is performing the action? We. We are performing action. So in this sentence. V is the subject. Then let's move towards the third sentence. She speaks Turkish. Who is performing an action? She. So in this in this subject, what is subject? Yes, guys, that is she. And they play football. In this sub in this sentence, the subject is there. Likewise, in this sub in this sentence, the subject is you. Okay, you go to office. Okay, and then how do you say? It, uh, how to translate this sentence into Chinese? Tha yong shochi. I do know ke shochi ke saath war use hota hai, but you guys are just a beginner, okay? So that's why I'm using it as it is, okay? But exactly if I'm gonna say use the exact word for the Chinese uh, with the shochi, that is war. But I will let you know in the next videos, okay? But for the time being, you are supposed to study tha yong shochi, hayo tha war shochi. We learn Chinese language. Woman shui shi chong wan. Woman shui shi chong wan. He she she speaks Turkish. Tha shua tu ar chi. Tha shua tu ar chi. 
they play football thaman thi zu chyo thaman thi zu chyo you go to office ni chu pan gong shi ni chu pan gong shi okay so these are the subject tha waman tha thaman ni the person or a thing who performs an action is called a subject okay so i hope ki aap you must have understood the what is subject so let's move uh, towards the second the uh, next slides okay so types now the types of the subject we are going to study that how to say i in chinese how to say you he she we you plural they it into the chinese language yes i is called wo i is called wo wo you is called ni 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 he is called tha 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 she is also called tha 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 and it is also called tha tha so here you notice that he she it is pronounced in the same way but chinese character is different he is written as it is like tha she is written as tha and it is written as tha hawa and we woman 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 you ni man ni man ni man they tha man tha man guys here you must have noticed the one thing that for making the plural v is the plural u for plural d is the plural okay for plural we add man okay wa man ni man tha man okay i hope that you must have understood it now let's move forward not add man to make plural yes guys in chinese uh, when we need to make the plural of a uh, noun or anything we are supposed to add man with with the singular pronoun or noun okay now these things we have learned in the chinese language in this lecture okay so you are supposed to learn it you are supposed to remember it and memorize it okay how to say cell phone show chi show chi show chi how to say use yong 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 how to say learn xue xi xue xi xue xi how to speak how to say speak show 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 it is also say show 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 turkish thu ar chi thu ar chi thu ar chi play football thi zu chyo thi zu chyo thi zu chyo how to say go chu 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 how to say office ban gong shi ban gong shi ban gong shi and what is this uh, what is this mention this this the upper side uh, some some picture some small doors and something like this uh, down and then upwards and then straight and then upwards what is this these are called the tones okay we'll make a separate video on it okay so you will understand but for the time being you are supposed to speak as we are speaking as i am speaking okay so you are supposed to learn and you are supposed to pronounce as i am pronouncing but how to pronounce this all the things we'll making a separate video on it but this is the first video just for the subject so i have given you some idea about the subject so these are the tasks which should be completed okay to make your chinese better okay to make your chinese better not english okay i have written wrong here anyways uh, my apology okay what uh, are the the first homework the first assignment is make a notebook for the chinese language yes guys if you really want to learn the chinese language you are supposed to make a one notebook for it okay and then copy the lecture this complete lecture from starting page till the ending in your notebook okay then learn the subject okay memorize the subject okay? how that how to say i how to say we how to say you in chinese language and blah blah practice how to write chinese character or subject yes we have uh, i uh, we have taught you i have taught you that how to write a chinese character chinese character is written here so you need to practice it okay how many times you have to practice so much so many times that you can write it without looking for example that if anybody is gonna say you that write niman you can write without looking if anybody says you to write woman you can write if anybody says you to write thaman then you can write without looking okay so you will have to practice that much then take the pictures and share either at our email address or our whatsapp group okay a whatsapp uh, number and then send your recording on our whatsapp group and when you are going to send the recording and when you are going to share your 
uh, working your written material then we if we find any mistake there we'll definitely revert back to you and then we'll let you know okay, that where you have made the mistake okay so this is uh, uh, all for today and thank you so very much for watching this video and we will making such videos so you are requested to subscribe our channel so that you can come to know on time that we have uploaded the new video and we hope that you will learn it and if you face any problem then you can ask from us okay so we have made this channel and this platform for you guys that if you guys have any problem if you guys really want to learn english language or chinese language or excel then you can approach our platform and uh, we wish you best of luck and good luck for your chinese language and we'll meet with the next video till then take extra care of yourself ciao gu how's the bye 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 bye